Everything's looking pretty good up here. A couple of these maple seeds didn't make it. This one still looks pretty weak. I put a few flowering quince cuttings in there the other day. Mountain maples opening up. Looking pretty cool. This one doing not bad. Buds are starting to open on the main one. Thought that was a mountain maple. Might be something different. This is a silver or red maple, I think. This is something else. They're all slightly different right now. It's kind of funny. Buds coming out of these these ones. All right, I'm just gonna go through some of my older slash larger trees. The ones that I've had for the longest. This pine I've had about a year and a half now. It was one of the first trees I collected. One of the only ones that's still alive from back then. You can see there's really good bud growth. There's a really large candle that's going to form there. Two smaller ones. This I cut back when I first got it, kind of naively. Didn't cut it to a bud, just cut it to some needles, so that'll come off eventually. I'll replace it with this bud. And I'm just going to let it grow. I'll prune it later in the summer. Same thing here, we'll eventually get rid of that. But I have another bud coming out here, that's gonna replace it. Good buds on the end of each branch. There's two on most of them, some of them have one. But even the small ones, can see this was a late shoot that tried to come out and fall didn't really make it but it actually survived and there's a new bud forming in there this one was real tiny up until recently all these buds have formed up just in the last couple weeks mostly the last week anyways I think it's a pretty cool tree Here I've got my maple forest, kind of. This big, I think this might be a red maple. I planted it in this pot when I started bonsai, you know, about a year and a half, almost two years ago. And then that fall, I just stuck a bunch of the maple seeds that was coming off the big Norway maple in the front of my house into the dirt. They spent the winter there. This spring they popped up and they grew like crazy. Sorry, last spring. Spring of 2020. So they've had one full growth season. And I'm just going to leave everything in here growing together. I actually have there's an oak. There's an acorn that's sprouting in there. That's the other one that I was talking about before. Got the stone in here so the squirrels don't get it, like they got a few other ones. Anyways, there's probably lots of roots in there, but I want to give everything, you know, these are going to be my larger maples, I guess. I've got some other smaller ones potted individually that I've pruned up a little bit and shaping, you know, shaping through pruning. 
these ones I'll just let grow, try and get some thicker trunks. I'll probably repot everything next spring. This big maple, I want to get some really good roots on it, so I don't want to disturb everything this year. I'll just let everything get really developed. It's a fairly natural black soil in there. Bunch of perlite that I added. Um, not black soil, but you know, potting soil. Put it all in there almost two years ago. Year and a half ago, let's say. Probably repotted everything, or repotted it at the wrong time of year. Or when I first got it. Can't remember, I'll have to go through everything all my old pictures and videos. But you can see the buds on this. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I think that's a red maple. The other smaller ones that I have, I think are silver maples. The smaller ones in the, the other potting videos I've been doing, not these ones. These ones are all Norway maple, pretty sure. You can see all the secondary branching the buds that are going to come out on that not a lot of them are budding out like that but there's that one there's this one it's looking pretty good overall got some birches in here some of them don't look so good but got a bit of growth coming out Pretty sure this one's a birch anyways. Pretty sure all three of these are birches, but these two don't look that great, but they might be okay. Over here is the bigger birch. That, you know, also doesn't look great, but I think, I think right here it'll green up here too. And then there's also a shoot, a sucker coming out the bottom there. So that'll be nice to be able to grow that that's just in the sand right now with a pine that I'm pretty sure is dead. So I don't know, I think maybe I'll just leave those in the sand or probably should repot the big one into something good. And then I've got three other Norway maples here. That grew at the same time as the ones in this pot. There's only three in there. I had some other plants in there at some point, I think, and took them out. Can't remember. And then there's my big spruce here. Which is just awesome. This is the first large tree that I took. This was pretty much May or June of 2019. So this one is almost two years with me. I made that cut. You can see it healing up really well. I made this cut healing up. This, this big cut that I made that's pretty good. I should probably carve out the middle there so it can heal up better on its own, but it's got a lot of really nice bud development here. This one is the first one that's gonna pop. Yeah, I'm really quite happy with this one. I thought I had killed it at first. The first year there was pretty much no development, no growth. There was a couple tiny things that grew like, <laughs> like this one was a fresh growth. It was very strange. It's coming out the end of a branch that I thought I was gonna get rid of eventually. Just growing straight up with tons of buds on it. So maybe I'll just let it grow like that even though it's a weird angle and you know let the bottom of the tree strengthen up. And then there's tons of buds everywhere else. This tree is gonna do really well this year I think. That one's trying to open up a little bit. Yeah. I love this tree. It's going to be my living Christmas tree, I guess. 
little bit of a Charlie Brown Christmas tree right now, but one day it'll be nice. These are the last coniferous trees I have to pot up individually. All my little pine seedlings that are just clumped together in sand. Really good buds on all of them. There's three on that one. So yeah, I'll get those putted up real soon. Well, it looks like April Fool's Day came a little late this year. It's April 21st today. We got like 10 centimeters of snow overnight. Hopefully all the fresh leaves and flowers make it out alive. Apricot tree looks pretty cool with all the snow on it, but here's hoping. Everything's got a nice dusting on it. Well, that's more than a dusting, that's a proper snowfall for sure. But. Like either something was digging in there or something fell in it, I don't know. Maybe just the way it's been melting. I'm gonna keep all my smaller trees, the ones I've repotted recently, under the tarp till tomorrow. It's supposed to go down to minus three. Feels like minus nine tonight with the uh, humidity, so. We'll see if our fruit tree flowers survive this onslaught. The apricots there were just just about to fall off anyways. The pear tree flowers are just coming out now. 